With the simple opening of a valve, a small batch of oil leaves the Keystone pipeline and a much anticipated 10 minute test begins for Al Musa. His team is removing about 250 barrels of oil in a safe, controlled manner from the Keystone pipeline near the town of Cowgill, Missouri. By withdrawing oil from the pipeline, we're going to be simulating a leak for the purpose of testing a leak detection system. Keystone is equipped with thousands of sensors that provide updated data every five seconds to a high-tech oil pipeline control center that monitors Keystone 24-7. If sensors can detect a small amount of oil removed from the pipeline, the commodity withdrawal test, as it's called, will be a success. We're going to be with flowing oil through the skid. This is where we control the volume or the flow of the oil. This test is also a first for TransCanada. The specially engineered module, called a skid, may look like a bunch of pipes, but it's actually a sophisticated tool to safely pull oil from a working pipeline. It will help test and validate the sensitivity of TransCanada's state-of-the-art leak detection system. This entire skid was designed from the ground up by TransCanada for specifically this testing. The Commodity Withdrawal Project is all part of the company's dedication to continuous improvement on its industry-leading safety performance. The pipeline is to test our existing leak detection system. Field trials are always a lot of fun. There's a stress going on because you never know what's going to happen. As project engineer, it's Jackie Kruger's job to coordinate the team here in Calgill, Missouri with the oil control operators in Calgary, Alberta. Operators can shut down the pipeline system if they suspect a leak. So how does the control center detect a leak thousands of miles away? We have a very sophisticated leak detection system with sensors all along the Keystone pipeline. So in Calgary, in the control room, they know exactly the pressure, the flow of, of pretty much the entire pipeline. So when oil leaves the Keystone pipeline in the middle of a farmer's field, they will see that in Calgary and they'll know that oil is leaving. If an operator gets an anomalous reading that can't be explained, they have 10 minutes to determine the cause. If they cannot rule out a leak, the pipeline is shut down. This is called the 10 minute rule. When we flow oil, they will see that the oil is leaving the Keystone pipeline and they will know exactly how much is coming out. Over one week, the team conducted 27 withdrawals under a variety of conditions and flow rates. Early results confirm TransCanada's leak detection sensitivity is being met or exceeded. On this day, the leak detection system spotted a small leak, about 1.2% of the average flow rate of the entire pipeline. To compare, that's less than a third of one typical rail tank car. So we conducted three tests yesterday and all three tests were successfully seen by both the existing detection system and the uh, new system that we were trialing. For Al Musa and his team, completing these tests successfully without any safety or environmental incidents is a validation of their rigorous efforts to go above and beyond standard regulations. Now all the data collected here will be taken back for analysis and possible use on future projects. This is the culmination of a lot of work from a lot of people and it feels great to be here finally. More than one billion barrels of North American oil have been safely transported on the Keystone system to markets in the Midwest and Gulf Coast. No other pipeline system offers the safety and reliability that Keystone offers.